Hello, everyone. Welcome, 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 and thank you for joining us for our Yoga Belly class. My name is Will, and I will be guiding you for the next 60 minutes. Uh, before we get started, I'd like to go around and have a quick introduction of everyone who's practicing with. Uh, just share your name and how long you've been practicing, if you don't mind starting, Alejandro. My name is Alejandro. I have been practicing for five years now. So Fantastic. Say. Thank you. Welcome. Amy? Hello, my name is Amy, and I've been practicing for about 19 years now. Amazing, thank you. And Akemi, Akemi, I can, I can um, unmute you, I suppose. Right. Got it, Akemi? Sure. Yeah, my name is Akemi, and I've been practicing for about two and a half years now. Fantastic, all right, fantastic. Thank you so much. All right, so now we're going to begin class. And before we begin, I just want to let everybody know what our goal and intentions are for class. So when, when I start class, I'd like to offer up where this is going as far as our asana and our practice is concerned. We're going to be doing a half moon, and I'm actually going to ask Alejandro to demo what that half moon pose looks like. I'm going to ask that he uses a block. So for those of you who are still trying to find your balance, block is a good way to bring the floor closer to you. So come on up. As, as good as you can without the warm up. So basically take a snapshot of what that pose looks like, everybody. You're gonna see that there's going to be obviously balancing, there's hip opening, there's shoulder opening, and core is gonna be engaged to help lift your body weight off the floor. And at some point you guys feeling the balance, feel free to not use the block, okay? Thank you, Alejandro. Come on down, fantastic, okay. And if, um, and as far as the inspiration for class today, the inspiration is just being present. I know that we're coming into our new year and I know there's a lot of people that are like so done with 2020 and we're all looking forward for the new, to, into the new year. Rather than looking above and beyond, I want you to just focus and look at here and now. Be present with your breath, be present with your practice, be present on your mat. That's really the ask. Okay, so with that said, for those of you who, who have a playlist that you'd like to uh, play during your practice, we're gonna hit play in five seconds. So hit it for five, four, three, two, one. Press play, and now everybody lay down onto your mats. Come down onto your backs. Sure. When you guys lay down onto your backs, take a moment to just wiggle around. If you want, grab hold of opposite shoulders, give yourself a self hug and rock your spine left to right. Just take a moment to really melt onto the floor, whatever that means and looks like for you, so that you can just completely splat your body onto the floor. Okay, and as you make yourselves down onto the floor, take a moment now to just feel the breath enter and leave your space. And as you breathe, breathe into the belly, Notice the pause, and on the exhale, start to deflate the belly. And notice the pause. And so throughout the practice, the idea is to be present again with your bodies, with your breath. Use that breath to keep yourselves in the room, to keep you present. And now we're going to add some movement. So wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. Start to circle around the wrists, the elbows, your ankles. Start to circle them the opposite direction. Keep your eyes closed. Go ahead and bend your knees and give yourselves a nice tight hug here, like a cannonball, squeezing all the air out. Continue squeezing, but let your sacrum, your shoulders flatten to the floor so you can roll side to side this time. Keep squeezing and just rock left to right. And then meet me back at the center line. Release the grip of your left leg, extend your left leg, but keep hugging your right knee towards the outside of your right ribs. Feel free to keep your eyes closed at this point. Releasing the grip, keep your knees bent so you can circle just that right hip one direction. So we're just gonna circle it for one, two, three, and four, and circle that right hip the other direction for four, three, two, and one. And blinking the eyes open, take your left palm, press your left hip down, right fingertips grabs hold of the big toes. Draw your arm from the inside as you grab your big toes. Start to straighten out the right knee. 
find that range of motion that, that feels comfortable for your hamstring. For those of you who are just kind of waking up the hamstring or have a little bit of tightness, keep the knee at the be knee bent. Otherwise, as you straighten the right knee, see if you could peel the toes up and over towards the top of the head, like bring it a little bit more higher, higher, higher. Now keep pressing your left hip down. Let's open up that right hip towards the right side. And feel free to bend your right knee as much as needed. Go only as far as your left hip stays grounded. Good, we're gonna take one more breath here. Okay, bring that right leg all the way back to center. Rebending the right knee, switch hands. Take your left palm to the outside of the right palm, right foot and move your right leg across to the left. Same deal here, keeping that right knee bent as much as you'd like. Do the best you can to draw that right foot all the way to the left, keeping your right shoulder pinned to the floor. And then, Come all the way back up to center. Go ahead and hug both knees again to the chest. Press your sacrum to the floor. Maybe you rock the spine left to right. And as we come all the way back up to center, keep hugging your left knee in and release that right leg forward. And draw now that left thigh outside of the left ribs here. Really, really open up a little bit here. And now we're going to take that right palm, press your right hip down and take your left arm inside the leg, grab hold of the big toe and then straighten out the knee. And pause for a second again, and notice your hamstring. If needed, keep the bend at the knees. If you are able to straighten out that left knee, draw that leg a little bit higher, trying to bring it up and over the head. And then we open up that hip a little bit extra. So bring now that left leg to the left, bending the knee as much as you need to, going only as far as your right hip stays to the floor. Nice, and then we're gonna come over back to center. We bending your left knee, switch hands. Right palm to the outside of the left foot. Start to drive the left leg all the way over to the right side. Trying to land your foot as close as you can towards the floor, keeping the knee bent as much as needed and having your shoulders pinned to the ground. And then let's come all the way back up to center. Let's go ahead and re-hug both knees again to the chest. Press your sacrum shoulder to the floor, rocking your spine left to right. Now we're gonna wake up the abs a little bit here. With your knees bent, connect the soles of the feet together. Butterfly the legs open, and then let the outsides of your feet rest down onto the ground. So this is your Supta Baddha Konasana. All right, so interlace the fingers. Press your fingers towards one another. Index finger points out, and draw your palms up and over the head. So we bend at the elbows here. So we start with the upper body. As we exhale, go ahead and reach your shoulders off the floor, tuck your chin, aim your fingertips all the way towards between the thighs. And as you inhale, slowly roll it back. And on the exhale again, curling the spine, tuck the shoulders, the chin, draw the fingers forward. Nice, and as we inhale, roll it back. Exhale again, let's curl it forward. And as we inhale, we roll it back. Exhale again, let's curl it forward. Nice, and as we inhale, roll it back. Four more rounds. Now pick up the legs as high as you can. Aim the fingers underneath the heels this time. So we pick up the legs, maybe pick up the hips. Good, and as you inhale, lower the arms and the legs, tap it back down. Good, exhale again, pick it up, squeeze. And on the inhale, roll it back. Two more of these, exhale again, we squeeze. And inhale, let's roll it back. Exhale again, let's squeeze. And as we inhale, roll it back. I'm gonna ask that we curl all the way back up. Now we're going to do a little bit of pulsing. So as you draw the fingertips underneath the heels, pump now your shoulders up and down. 12 rounds, begin for pumping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 11 and 12, slowly release the shoulders, hugging the knees into the chest, let your hips windshield wiper side to side. Okay, the next thing we're going to do. So let's set this back up with the knees still bent, stack the knees over the hips. This time we're going to fan your legs apart so that the toes face outwards and the heels face towards each other. So think of your goddess legs here. So separate the legs. Amy, separate, separate, separate. Go ahead and bend at the knees, Alejandro. Separate, open up the legs like you're in goddess. Yes, 
Same deal now, go ahead and interlace the fingers, squeeze the index fingers to point up. We're gonna do that again. So as you exhale, pick up your shoulders, tuck your chin, curl the fingers towards the insides of the thighs. And as you inhale, roll it back. So exhale again, curl it forward, keep squeezing. And as we inhale, roll it back. Make sure your toes are nice and active. As we exhale again, curl it forward. Nice, and as you inhale, roll it back. Exhale again, let's curl it forward. And as we inhale, roll back. Now we're gonna add, as you curl forward, pick up your hips off the floor, really crunch a little tighter. Nice, and as we inhale, roll it back. Exhale again, curl it forward, keep squeezing. And as we inhale, roll it back. Two more of those, exhale again, squeeze. And as we inhale, roll it back. Exhale again, we squeeze. And as we inhale, roll it back. We're gonna roll up one more time. So this time we're gonna stay up here just to pulse the shoulders up and down. So as you lift your shoulders, start to pulse up and down. Begin one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12, slowly relax the shoulders, hug the knees to the chest, rock your sacrum, your spine side to side. And then we'll do a counter for the core work with a little bridge post back bend. With your knees bent, we plant your feet down onto the ground, trying to bring the heels close to the hips. Using your fingers for support, press your palms down as you lift the hips one vertebra at a time and pause for a moment here. Good three breaths. Take a break from all the squeezing at the belly. Now bring the squeeze to your glutes, to the thighs. Even press onto the big toes. See if you can lift the hips a little bit more. And take one more breath. Let's soften one vertebra at a time. Bring the hips back down onto the ground. Hug the knees into the chest. Now I'm gonna ask that we rock ourselves up and down. A good three to four rounds so we can come up to a seated position. Once you come to a seated position, Option to side saddle your legs to one side or across the legs so we can roll up onto our tabletop pose. Let's bring ourselves onto our knees, onto our wrists. And on this tabletop pose, ideally you wanna stack the hips over the knees and you stack the shoulders over the elbows, over the wrists. Let's have some flow here with our breath, our spine. On the next inhale, coming up to lift the tailbone, the chest and chin. This is your cow pose. And on the exhale, then go the opposite direction. So tuck in the tailbone, the belly, chest, and chin. Inhale again, let's go ahead and curl the spine so you can look up. And then on the exhale, let's let all the air out, curl in. Nice, good. Inhale again, let's curl up. On the next exhale, as you curl in, tuck your toes, press your toes down to the floor. Nice, releasing the toes as you inhale, press the feet down to the ground, open, open, open. And as we exhale, option again to tuck the toes, really all, let all the air out here. Okay, let's bring ourselves back to neutral spine. Once you get to neutral spine into your tabletop, we're gonna take that right knee, bring that right knee over towards the chest. We're gonna do a little bit of circumduction here. So as you bring the knee to the chest, bring the knee to the outside of the elbow, and then bring the knee all the way towards the back again. And then bring it back to neutral, knee to the chest, and then begin the circle. So circle the knee to chest, elbow, and out. Good. For two, circle. For three, circle. For four, circle. And then circle the opposite direction. So bring the knee all the way towards the back, and then bring it to the side, and then bring it to the chest. Good. For three. Going backwards for two. Good. Going backwards for one. Once we get back to neutral, I want you to extend your right leg all the way behind you. So straighten out the leg and try to get that leg parallel. Only because Amy's in the house, I feel like there's gotta be more glute work. So we're gonna pulse that leg just good round. So she pulse that leg for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Here's the flow, bend the knee, bend the knee, bring the knee to the nose, exhale all the air out. And as you inhale, lengthen, extend the leg. Exhale, curl, bring the knee to the nose. And inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to the nose. And inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to the nose. And inhale, lengthen. 
Now adding, extend left arm forward. Exhale, bend the left elbow, bring the knee to the elbow, curl it in. Beautiful, inhale, lengthen. And exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale again, lengthen. And exhale, knee to elbow. Fantastic, I want you guys to inhale, lengthen one more time. Option now to stay here for three breaths or bending at the knee. See if you can kick that, take that bind. There you go, using that left palm to grab hold of the foot, your ankle, your shin. Looking good, Alejandro, thank you, Amy. Yes, that's it. Okay, we just spine balance here. Engage that belly, that strength. Let's take one more breath. And then let's soften ourselves back onto the mat, back to your tabletop pose. Fantastic. We're gonna do that routine over to the right side or left side rather. So when you are ready, we're gonna pick up that left knee and bring that knee to the chest. And then bring the knee outside the elbow and bring it all the way towards the back. Big wide circle with that left hip for one. For two. Good, for three. Four, four. And move the circle the opposite direction. So we draw it from the back to the side to the chest. For three, for two, one more breath. Fantastic, keeping that knee lifted, extend now and straighten out the knee. We're gonna do that pulse, move that leg up and down, begin to pulse for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 and 12, slowly exhale, bring now the knee to the nose, crunch it in and inhale, let's lengthen the leg and spine. Exhale again, curl it in and bring it back out. Exhale again, bring it in and inhale it back up. Exhale, draw it in and inhale to lengthen. Adding, extend your right arm forward and exhale now, elbow to knee, crunch. Inhale, extend. And exhale, curl. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, curl. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, curl. Student's choice. Feel free to now lengthen and hold here for three breaths or take that bind if you took it on the other side. Reaching that right arm behind you. Right, we have different different postures here. Alejandra is grabbing for the inside of the foot and Amy is grabbing hold of the outside. And Akemi is going with the lengthening, engaging at the belly. Let's take one more breath and then slowly land and soften back into your tabletop pose. And once we get to tabletop pose, choices to tuck the toes or not, everybody sit back onto your heels so you can stack the torso and bring it to upright position. I'll do a little bit of circumduction to that shoulder. So let's lean our body weight over to the left side. Release that left palm down for support. And as you stack your shoulders, reach that right arm high so you can make big circles now with that right arm for one, two, three, and four. And we circle the opposite direction for four, three, two, and one. Good, switching sides, lean over to the right. As you stack the shoulders, pick up the left arm, big circles here again. One, two, three, and four, and reverse the circle. Four, three, two, and one. Fantastic. Now coming back up to center, let's roll around through the wrist. So start off with your knuckles connecting towards one another. Notice what's happening with the shoulders, soften your shoulders, and then circle the fingertips of the chest and up. So just circling around one direction. Notice if you're holding tension, your arms, your jaws, your neckline, your eyebrows, soften, 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 and just let the joints flow freely. Now spin it the opposite direction. Nice. And now let's take a moment here to shake the energy off those arms, wrists, joints. And then we plant ourselves back onto your tabletop pose. As you spread the fingers nice and wide, stack the hips over the knees again. 
Now let's use that core strength to pick up our body weight. So tucking at the toes, coming to what we call our turbo dog, pick up the knees a good three to four inches off the floor. So why don't you take that energy at the belly button center to draw the belly in and upward towards the ribs. This is a nice setup for plank as well. So replanting those palms as if you're creating this dome between the shoulder blades. Don't, don't allow your shoulder blades to cave in. Nice, and act like you're going to spring forward so that the thighs are just as active. And then we march ourselves to our first downward facing dog. Take a moment in marching. That gives us a, some time for the hamstring to get prepared for lengthening here. Now, if your hamstrings are a little bit shy from straightening out the knees, feel free to add bend at the knees. Otherwise, ground the heels as close as you can to the floor. Your legs are good hips width apart, but you can also spread the hips, the legs as mats width apart as you'd like if that helps you feel a little bit more stable. From here, we're gonna bend at the knees, take an inhale, look forward. And on the exhale, lightly travel both feet to the tops of your mats. Take a moment in forward fold ragdoll, softening, maybe a little bend at the knees, Soften your neckline towards the floor, grab hold of opposite elbows, or like Alejandro is doing, taking that bind behind you. Fantastic. Let's release our fingertips towards the floor as we roll up one vertebra at a time, coming all the way up to standing. Once we make it all the way up, go ahead and circle and shrug the shoulders in a circular direction for one, two, three, and four, and then circle the opposite direction for four, three, two, and one. Shrugging the shoulders up towards the ears and then releasing them back down to the floor. If you wanna take a quick water break, now would be a great time to do that as we move on to our next phase, which will be our foundations and flow. When I say that, I meant me. Alrighty, so part two, foundations and flow. So everybody meet me at the top of the mats. Big toes may touch, or your legs could be hips width apart or somewhere in the middle. Let's start off with bringing our prayer right over the heart. Slide tuck at the chin, close the eyes. I shared with you what my intentions were for, this, uh, for today's class. Now invite your own intention. What led you to your mats today? Remember, this is still your practice. I am here to serve as guide. What is it that you are hoping to get from your practice? Honor that intention and let's seal that intention by breathing in Ujjayi. Constrict the back of the throat, make the sound of the ocean. Ujjayi translates to victorious breath. So I always remind students, think of your breath as your cheerleader as you flow from one post to the next as you engage that core and build that internal heat. And blink our eyes open for some sun citation. So as you inhale, float your arms up and over the head. And on the exhale, dive forward or start with the palms to the heart, forward fold. Placing the palms either to shins or thighs, inhale, this is your flat back or halfway lift. And then exhale, deeper forward fold. Do we need to bend the knees for the hamstrings or not? Now we squeeze at the belly, inhale, let's rise up to standing. Reach your arms up and over the head. Exhale again, dive forward. Maybe swan dive or palms to the heart, forward fold. Inhale again, your flat back, palms to shins or thighs. And exhale, deeper forward fold. Two more rounds, everyone. Inhale, come all the way up. Now, if you guys like adding those back bends, feel free to cactus the arms to lift the chest. And on the exhale, straighten the spine so we can dive it forward. Inhale again into your flat back. And exhale, deeper forward fold. Two more, inhale, let's rise. Option for back bends if you like. Straighten the spine on the exhale, dive it forward. Inhale, flat back of choice. Bend your knees, plant the palms, step back, exhale to downward facing dog. For downward facing dog, let's introduce plank this time. So come up into your high plank pose, which we're gonna hold for three breaths. Now, if we're still building strength, feel free to come down onto the knees. Otherwise, we're stacking the heels well over the balls of your feet. 
The lower micro bend taking place at the elbows to get your triceps, biceps engaged. Belly is drawn in. And then slowly exhale back to downward facing dog. Fantastic. Now let's add inhale, come up into your high plank pose. We're going to start off with a modified uh, vinyasa. Lower the knees as you exhale, follow through with the chest for a modified push up. Releasing the belly and the toes. Inhale, we slither the chest upward. This is your cobra pose. Peel the shoulders back, elbows towards the ribs. And then replant yourselves back to all fours. Choices to land in child's pose or tuck the toes downward facing dog. So let's try that again. Introduction to the vinyasa. Inhale, come up again into your high plank. Modified version first, lower the knees, follow through the chest. Releasing the belly of the toes. Inhale, we come up for your cobra back bend. Draw the elbows to the ribs. And then slide back either to child's to end your vinyasa or tuck the toes, lift up downward facing dog. We're gonna be here for five breaths. Practicing that ujjayi. Good, fingers are pressing down to the floor. Even if you chose to take child's pose, please keep that belly engaged. This is still our offering for a core class. Good, just one more breath. Meeting it down dog, let's bend at the knees, take an inhale, look forward. And on the exhale, lightly step or hop to the tops of your mats. As you inhale, come up again, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, we rise, come all the way up. And your choice if you want to add that back bend. And as we exhale, let's dive it forward again. Good, inhaling, we come up again, halfway. And on the exhale, bend at the knees, step back, downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, second style vinyasa. Inhale, come up into your high plank. This time as we exhale, lower down for your push-up. If you need to, then lower the knees as well. Releasing the toes from behind you, inhale upward facing dog this time. So now both elbows are straight and your thighs are off the ground. And then same deal here, slide back either to child's or tuck the toes downward facing dog. Let's move through your vinyasa of choice. Inhale into your high plank. So knees or no knees, lower down into your version of push-up. Back bend, either cobra or upward facing dog inhale. And exhale, we end your vinyasa either in child's or downward facing dog. This time we'll hold for three breaths. Good, for two. One more breath. On your next inhale, let's rebend at the knees. Take an inhale, look forward. And on the exhale, lightly step or hop to the top. We inhale, come up again, halfway lift. Exhale, deeper forward fold. Inhale, let's rise, come all the way up again, reach, get tall. If you wanna add that back bend, lift the chest. Straighten the spine on the exhale, come on down, forward fold. Inhale, let's come up again, halfway lift. Now exhale, bending at the knees, vinyasa or not, your way to downward facing dog. Totally your call. Follow the breath in the flow. And now from downward dog, let's switch it up and add. Taking that right leg, inhale that right leg up behind you. Now, if this is too much for you folks at home, feel free to come down on that left knee, okay? Otherwise, we're gonna reach that right heel open. Toes are nice and active. Fingers are pressing the weight away. Let's take a bend at that right knee, stack your hip over towards the left side and pause for a moment. The details, details, take a glance. You want your left knee to keep looking forward. In this pose, I want you guys to keep the shoulders fairly square so that your weight is evenly pressing onto the fingertips. And for one more breath, squeeze the heel towards that left glute. On your next exhale, let's bring the knee towards your right elbow, squeeze into the plank, and then back it up, restack your hip, inhale. Exhale, let's bring the knee to the nose again. Revisit that crunch, knee to nose. Good, back it up, inhale again, we stack the hip. Exhale, we cross the knee over to the left elbow, tap here. Good, back it up, inhale, we stack the hip again. 
Last one, more core, bringing now the knee to the nose. This time we're suspending here for three breaths. For those of you who like it extra, maybe you come up high onto your left tippy toes. Just take in one more full breath here. And as you exhale, gently step your right foot between the thumbs, setting up for the twist. Take your right palm, place it to the heart first. We're gonna stack your right shoulder on top of the left shoulder and then reach that right arm high to the sky. Act like you're going to spike a volleyball up and over a net here so that your palms, your fingers are active. And ideally you're trying to keep that left arm parallel with that right leg as you press onto the big right toe, right foot to the floor. Slowly as you exhale, reground your right palm back down to the floor. Coming up for a supported warrior three, start to drag your left toes to the middle of the mat as you hop and pick up that left leg trying to keep the left leg parallel to the floor. Find balance first. This might mean you use the blocks for balance. Adjust your fingers, your arms so that they're underneath the shoulders. And once you have the balance pretty much under wraps, start to pick up one palm at a time and find prayer pose. Stay in prayer or fly your arms away in airplane and we'll count it down for three breaths here. So core is used to bring that body weight off the floor. And find that balance. Your left toe is nice and active behind you. Taking one more breath. On the next exhale, stepping that left foot to the top so you can come to a forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, deeper forward fold. Good. Inhale, we rise. Back bend choice. Last set, everybody. And we straighten the spine on the exhale, dive it forward. Inhale again, your flat back. And bend at the knees, vinyasa or not. Let's meet back, downward facing dog. Following the breath. Inhale. And exhale. Nice. And once we meet at downward facing dog, we now pick up that left leg behind you. Again, pause for a moment. If balancing is an issue, we're kind of just starting out with yoga, feel free to bring that right knee down, keeping that left leg lifted. You should keep that left leg lifted. Toes are nice, active, pressing all 10 fingers to the floor. And then we add that hip opener. So as you bend at the knee, stack the hip over to the right side. As you stack the hip, take a glance at that right knee. You want that right knee to still look forward and you want your shoulders to be nice and even so that you're pressing all 10 fingers to the ground. As you take another sip of air, exhale to squeeze the heel to the glute. Inhale, exhale, go ahead and bring the knee to the left elbow. There you go. And then inhale again, restack. Exhale, we'll crunch. Bring the knee to the nose as you curl in. And then back it up. Inhale, restack. Exhale, cross the knee over to the right elbow. Tap. And then back it up. Inhale, restack. Last one. We're going to keep it suspended. Bring the knee to the nose and squeeze here for three breaths. I love it, Alejandro. If you guys want to float up onto your tippy toes, use that core strength to pick up that body weight. Nice, Amy. And then let's go ahead and slowly bring that foot right between the thumbs, setting up for the twist. So now we're going to take that left palm to the heart first. As you stack left shoulders on top of the right, then release that left arm high to the sky. So with the groundwork, right arm is pretty much parallel with that left leg, press to that left foot. Your left palm is spiking that volleyball up and over the net and find that extension all the way down towards your heels, everyone. Beautiful poses. Releasing that left palm down for support, setting up for supported warrior three. So as you shift your body weight towards that left foot, tap your right toes to the center of the mat until you pick up that right leg. You try to bring it parallel to the floor. Adjust your arms so that the arms are somewhat underneath the shoulders, using the block to bring the floor closer to you if you'd like. You wanna play with balancing, start to bring one palm to the heart as you connect your prayer. Stay in prayer or release your arms and fly into airplane. And let's count here for three breaths. Good for two. Remember, be present. And then slowly on the next exhale, forward fold, release the fingers and the right foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, come up halfway lift. Exhale, deeper forward fold. And then inhale, we rise to the top. Back bend is an option. 
Then this time as we exhale, let's straighten the spine. Let's close the pose, bringing the palms right over the heart, close the eyes and take a moment to just visit the breath. And blinking the eyes open. Next posture, chair pose. So as we bend at the knees, we sink the hips like we're sitting down on a chair, raising the arms high up and over the head. And take a moment here as you squeeze the inner thighs towards one another. Take a glance. You want to be able to see the toes past the knees. And if you're not, lean the hips back just a little bit extra. And then turn your fingers so that the pinkies face each other. Externally rotate here at the shoulder. Next thing we're going to introduce is drinking bird. So we are going to come to a flat back. Land your belly over the thighs and swing your thumbs outside the hips. Option to pick up your heels as well and pause here and give this a taste for three breaths. Use that ujjayi. That's why it's so important to keep that belly engaged here. Beautiful structures, everybody. Option now to keep the heels lifted. We inhale into our, our chair pose again. And then slowly again, option to keep the heels lifted into that drinking bird. Yep, Akemi, feel free to keep the heels flat. Yep. Again, inhale again, slowly come back into that chair pose. And as you exhale, slowly come back again into that drinking bird. Nice flows, everybody. Inhale, lift all the way to standing. The heels are still lifted, I know. Yep, keep the heels lifted. Swan dive it forward. Then lower the heels, inhale, flat back. And as we exhale, bend at the knees, vinyasa or not. Let's meet back down, replacing dog. Good. Inhale and exhale. And from downward facing dog, pick up your right leg behind you, introducing next pose. Knee to the chest as you exhale, crescent lunge. I'm just gonna stay in crescent lunge for a good three breaths. For those of you still finding balance, feel free to stay down onto that left knee. Otherwise, straightening out that left knee behind you, stacking your left heel over the ball of your foot. Good, just take one more breath. Okay, next pose is warrior two. So Akemi, come up to standing. Now in warrior two, you're gonna open up the hips here, stacking your shoulders. For those of you fairly new to class, please take a look at your favorite model in front of you and look at the structure. We're stacking the shoulders over the hips. Nice, belly's nicely engaged. And taking one more breath. On the next inhale, we're going to reverse this warrior too. So land your left palm to the left thigh as you draw that right shoulder on top of the left. And then as you curl your spine, follow through with the arm up and over the head. Any other variation here works. I see a bind behind the waist. Good, and take one more breath here. Next pose is extended side angle. So gently place your right elbow on top of the right thigh as you stack left shoulder on top. Either reach that left arm over or bring it up and over the ear. Totally your call here. Again, any variation. I see some postures, trying to bring the fingers closer to the floor, totally good. I see Amy ready to take a bind. Hey, if you're into it, again, your practice. And then take one more breath here. Let's go ahead and inhale to reverse, just to get out of this. Reverse warrior two, inhale. And then on the exhale, go ahead and windmill the arms down. Stepping the foot back, now option to keep your right leg lifted as you do a couple of push-ups. If you want to power, power, power your yoga practice today, or simply do your vinyasa to meet back at down dog, or skip all this and meet at down dog. Beautiful, once we meet at downward facing dog, let's pick up that left leg on the inhale. Good. And bring the knee to the chest, step the foot all the way through. So let's do things a little bit different. Lower your right knee down to the floor. So as you step that left foot to the top, lower your right knee. So now come up to crescent lunge. So feel free to stay on your knee or tuck the toes and lift your right knee off the floor. There we go. Yep, just to give you a little bit of variation. And then find the smoky, smoky details here. Belly's engaged. Stacking that right heel over the ball of the foot. The fingers are actively reaching, reaching. Remember that spiking of the volleyball, still active with the hands, with the palms. Next shape will be the warrior two. So as you lower that right heel behind you, 
open, open, and open. Stack the shoulders over the hips. Can take a look at your favorite yogi up in the screen just to get a reference of what this posture may look like. Big toes are active, even pressing to the outside of that right foot to keep that leg engaged. Next pose, as you inhale, we're going to reverse this. So land your right palm to the thigh as you reach that left arm up. As you curl your spine, then you curl your shoulder, fingertips up and over the head. Feel free to open the shoulders as much as you like. I see some variations here with the arm around the waist. Good. And on the next exhale, we're gonna take an extended side angle. So as you roll over to the opposite left side, left elbow to the thigh, and reaching that right arm either stacked or roll your right arm up and over the ear. Again, I've seen some variations with the fingertips on the left side touching the ground. And I see Amy again, almost prepping for that bind. On the next inhale, let's get out of this. Reverse the warrior again. And as you exhale, windmill the arms down. Option to keep the left leg lifted in plank if you want those power push-ups. Now's a great time. Any variations here, vinyasa or not, we meet back downward facing dog. Well done, Alejandro. Okay, starting from the top, let's take down dog, pick up your right leg behind you. Now we just flow. Bring the knee to the chest, step the foot forward. So inhale, crescent lunge, get tall. Exhale, warrior two. Go ahead and stack the shoulders, adjust hips. Inhale, let's reverse the warrior here. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale again, let's reverse to get out of this. And on the exhale, windmill the palms down. Option for that power push up, lifted leg variation, vinyasa or not, we meet back at downward facing dog. Nice, home stretch. Lift that left leg on the inhale, knee to the chest, step it through. Come on up again, crescent lunge, get nice and tall, reach. And on the exhale, warrior two. Inhale, let's reverse this warrior. And as you exhale, extended side angle. Nice, inhale, transition out of this, reverse. And as you exhale, windmill the palms down. Again, power push up, lifted leg plank, whatever it takes to transition back to downward facing dog. Nice. And once we meet downward facing dog, let's set this up for half moon. We're gonna pick up that right leg behind you on the inhale and bring the knee to the chest, step the foot all the way forward. So let's start off in your crescent lunge. Let's build this. And from crescent lunge, exhale to warrior two. Okay, from warrior two, we're going to set up half moon. Start off with in your extended side angle. So draw the right elbow towards the thigh. Now find a spot a good eight to 12 inches outside of your right little toe. Reach with your fingertips to bring your palm to that spot as you drag now that left leg towards the center of the mat, setting up for the balance here. You start to pick up that left leg. Again, maybe use a block if that's handy for you. Options here now is to maybe take your fingers, right fingers for half prayer. And for those of you who are feeling super, super back bendy today, Chopasana. Amy is demonstrating grabbing a hold at the outside of that left foot. Good. Hold here for a couple more breaths. Find that Ujjayi. If you release that bind, slowly release. Yep. And then slowly step your left foot all the way back. As you inhale, let's reverse this to just transition out of this pose. And on the exhale, let's windmill the palms down, stepping that right foot back, power plank push-ups, whatever it takes to meet back downward facing dog. Beautiful. Here we go. Once we meet downward facing dog, we pick up that left leg inhale and knee to the chest, step the foot all the way forward. So let's come up for air again. Press up lunge, inhale. Exhale, we use warrior two, set it up. Good, then reground that left elbow over the thigh. 
as you set up for half moon, again, find that spot a good eight to 12 inches away from your little left toe. Reach with your left fingertips to grab hold of that as you pick up your right leg. Good, maybe use the block like a Kemizu to bring the floor closer to you. Again, find that nice stable balance, totally up to you now if you wanna pick up that left palm to the heart. Good, I see a nice little combo with Alejandro with the bind and then Amy's taking a Chopasana. Alejandro, see if you wanna wrap both palms over the foot, why not? There you go, remember it's a back bend to open the shoulders. There you go. One more breath, everyone. Softly and gently releasing the bind, stepping the foot back. As you inhale, let's use a reverse warrior to wash the slate clean as you exhale. Go ahead and plant the palm. Stepping that left foot back. Lifted plank push-ups, whatever it takes. Let's wash the slate clean. Come back to your downward facing dog. And from downward facing dog, let's go ahead and inhale, come back up to plank. Just nice little gentle flows and exhale, pump it back downward facing dog. Good, inhale again, let's come up to plank and exhale downward facing dog. Give me two more, inhale, come up to plank. Maybe you come up onto that tippy toe version and exhale back, nice clean downward dog. One more of your body, inhale again, flow it up to your plank and exhale back, downward facing dog. Downward facing dog, staying here for five breaths or come down to child's pose. Good, a couple more breaths here. Let's all meet back at downward facing dog, taking a bend at the knees as you inhale, look forward. And on the exhale, lightly step or hop to the tops of your mats. Inhale, come up again, halfway lift. Exhale, deeper forward fold. Good, inhale, we rise. Come all the way back up. Back bend if you wish. We're just gonna collect the palms together to prayer so we can close the pose. Again, take a moment here, close the eyes and reconnect with your ujjayi. Gently blinking the eyes open. Now we go to the next section of the practice, standing balance. Shifting the weight over towards the left foot. Go ahead and grab hold of your bent right knee to hug your right knee to the chest. So stay here if we're working on balance. Otherwise, we're gonna open up that leg a little bit extra, bringing your left palm to the waist for support. Draw the right arm to the inside of the right leg. Peace fingers grabs for the big toe. Straighten out the knee as comfortable as your hamstrings allow and pause here. Just a couple of breaths. Now option to open up that leg all the way to the right, keeping the knee bent as much as you need to. Hold here for a moment. Notice this is your half moon standing up. Find that ujjayi. One more breath. Let's slowly bring that right leg towards the forefront again. Interlace the fingers underneath the right thigh for support so we can straighten out the right knees. Point your toes up towards the sky and then option to release the grip, bring your arms over the head, but keep your right leg lifted. I'm not gonna ask you guys to do pulse pulse, but every time I look at Amy, I feel like let's work it out. Okay. Keeping that leg lifted, we're going to slide towards your warrior three. So slowly bring that right leg all the way towards the back of the mat this time as you reach your torso forward. There you go. Lots of variations here. There's Superman, there's Wonder Woman. Use that Ujjayi. One more breath. Softly bring yourself back to your Tadasana mountain pose. As you step your foot together, feel free to bounce around, shake around, release those arms, and prepping ourselves for bouncing onto the left, to the right side. Bring the right foot down as you hug that left knee to the chest. Again, pause for a moment. Feel yourself get grounded, and then we start to work our way towards that extended leg. Right fingertips to the waist first, and draw left arm to the inside of the leg so you can grab hold of the big toe. 
And then as far as your hamstrings will allow, straighten out the knee. And always the option to keep the knee bent. Let's hold here for a good three breaths. Again, practicing stillness in this really interesting shape. Again, just be here with this pose. Option now to open that leg all the way to the outside to the left. Notice again, there's your half moon here. There's a counter of releasing that extra, um, the other arm to the outside, opposite direction. And now we bring that left leg to the forefront again. So feel free to rebend at the knee so we can interlace the fingers under the left thigh and then straighten out that left knee as comfortable as you can. Feel free to keep the grip or release the arms up and over the head. Toes are active, leg is active, three breaths here. And we're going to fly into our warrior three. So without the foot touching the floor, release that left leg all the way to the back as you fly your arms forward. Again, Superman, Wonder Woman, keep your toes active behind you. Keep that Ujjayi breathing. Keep that belly nice and snug. And then gently step yourselves back to meet the feet together. Relax your arms, relax your, le relax your legs. Feel free to shake them off, shake the arms. And let's bring it back down onto the floor. Everybody take an inhale, sweep the arms up. And on the exhale again, dive it forward. Inhale, your flat back. Vinyasa or not, we meet back at downward facing dog. Good, inhale. And exhale. Nice. And once we meet a downward facing dog, let's pick up that right leg behind you, bend at the knee, restack at the hips. And on the exhale, bring the knee behind your right wrist this time, setting up for what we call our pigeon pose. Once you release the right leg across to the left, melt your hips behind the leg. I love it. Alejandro is using a block. If your hip, your right hip is lifted a good two to three inches, it's always a good idea to bring the block under you. Choices to stay upright or start to lean your torso, your body weight forward over the right leg. You can use your forearms to cradle your forehead. My encouragement here is to close the eyes. Go inside and feel five breaths. We'll blink our eyes open, using the fingers, the palms again, slowly lift up at the torso. Moving and shifting your body weight over to the right side. So if you have a block, remove the block because we're gonna take now that left leg and swing it all the way to the side, to the front until you can stack the leg into a twist. So we're setting up for seated twist, right? So that right knee is still bent. Now take that left knee on top, stack your left foot to the other side of that thigh. Taking now your left fingertips, use it as a kickstand behind your spine. And maybe as you inhale, float your right arm up, just like we're spiking, spiking that volleyball. Now take that twist and bring that tricep all the way outside of that left thigh. Options here, if a bind is take a part of your practice, I've seen some students draw that right arm underneath the left and bringing that left arm all the way underneath them. Totally your call. If you want more oblique core work, feel free to actively press your tricep to the thigh, the thigh to the tricep. Beautiful poses, everybody. One more breath. Here's my fun transition. Keeping the legs as they are, I'm gonna ask that you do a counter twist. So bring the torso to face to the right. Plant your palms down to the floor so you can step up on that left foot. And as Amy is doing, lift up to downward facing dog, Amy. Yep. Yes, downward facing dog, step up onto that left foot, Alejandro, and then swing to the back of the mat, downward dog. Okay, downward dog. So Alejandro face to the back. It's not gonna work if you're not facing to the back of the mat. <laughs> Details. From here, now we pick up that left leg, bend at the knee, stack at the hip. Perfect. I'm bringing now the knee behind your left wrist. So setting up for your pigeon pose, grabbing the block if it's necessary. 
Again, option to just keep your torso upright here or feel free to melt yourselves torso down to the floor using the forearms to cradle the forehead. And I ask that you close the eyes and go inside to be present with your breath. Just a couple more breaths here. Blinking the eyes open, using your fingers, your palms, start to bring the torso to an upright position. Keeping the left leg as it is, lean your body weight towards that left hip so you can take that right leg to the side, all the way to the front of the mat and all the way across, setting up for a seated twist. Good. So as that right knee is now standing on top, use that right arm as a kickstand behind your spine. We lengthen through that left arm. And as we exhale, we take that deep gnarly twist. So again, take a moment here. If you want extra, you could always use that thigh against the tricep, tricep against the thigh. If binding is part of your practice, I've seen students draw that left arm underneath the leg and draw the right arm all the way around. Good, take one more breath here. So listen up, here's your fancy transition. So keep the legs as they are. Take a counter twist over to the left side. Step up on your right foot to lift your hips. Now transition back to downward facing dog. There you go. And once we get to downward facing dog, take a bend at the knees, inhale, look forward. And on the exhale, lightly step or hop to seated towards the tops of the mats. Let's do a counter for all the planks that we've been doing. I've seen some in, uh, arm balancing. So take a moment now to take your palms behind you. Fingertips could either face your hips or towards the back of the mat. So with the knees bent, we're gonna reverse this tabletop here. Pick up the hips, try to parallel your quads towards the ceiling. I like to say there's a canary chest happening, like you're puffing your chest towards the sky. Good. Now we're gonna be here for three more breaths. Stay here or play with straightening out both knees, one leg at a time as you press your toes down to the floor. Nice, kind of like a reverse plank here. One more breath. Wherever y'all decided to go, land your hips back down towards the floor. And as you land the legs, soften them to the floor, straighten out the legs, knees bent or not, start to shimmy the hips side to side, windshield wiper side to side. Okay, Paschimottanasan. So as you straighten out the knees this time, inhale, float your arms up and over the head. And on the exhale, let's bring the torso over the thighs as you grab hold of your feet. If you're not able to grab hold of your feet, feel free to bend your knees, grab hold of your feet anyways. Again, option to close the eyes, just go back inside. Still encourage you to practice ujjayi and still encourage you to keep your core, your belly engaged and creating more space to lengthen the spine. One more breath. Releasing the foot bind here as you reach the torso upright position. Let's reach the fingers forward. Take a sip of air, inhale. If we can use the core to roll back onto our spine, go for it. If you're like, man, I'm not into it, just come down onto your elbows, lower your spine, your shoulders back down to the floor anyway. Yep. And as we meet back down onto the floor, take a moment to bend at the knees, hug the knees in, press the sacrum to the floor and rock your spine left to right. As we move forward with our cool down, we're going to stack your right thigh over the left time left thigh setting up for supine twist. Feel free to scoot your hips over towards the right. Taking a twist, melt your knees over to the left side of the mat, pinning both shoulders down towards the floor. But can we go to the opposite side? Yes, thank you. As you keep both shoulders pinned, feel free to turn your chin opposite direction of the knees. Again, option to close the eyes and just feel that breath enter and leave your space.
feel free to keep the eyes closed as we transition and switch directions and switch legs. So slowly coming back up to center, unstacking, restacking, reshifting the hips to the left and melting the knees over the opposite direction. So for most of us, we'll melt it over to the right side. And keeping your shoulders pinned, feel free to close the eyes and turn your head opposite direction of the knees. Good, and just feel that breath. And then next pose is, good, we're gonna come into your happy baby. So come in back to the center, unstack the legs, the thighs. Maybe you're gonna grab hold of the outside or insides of your feet. If you're one of the students who like to roll side to side, please start with your shoulders and your sacrum flat to the floor so that your spine is nicely connected on your mats. There's also variations here for last call for hip opening. So if you wanna grab with the hold of the big toes and follow along with Alejandro, playing like a little baby. If you really love this wide straddle, feel free to like straighten out one knee at a time and maybe both knees will straighten out. And as you spread the hips wide, maybe you point your toes towards the floor. And as we make our way to our Shavasana, I would suggest we start off with the knees bent and flatten your feet first. Take a moment to ground the low back to the floor. Take a break from all the squeezing and all the deep breathing. And now I invite you to either stay in what we call Ardha Shavasana with the knees bent or start to straighten out one knee at a time. Really sprawl the hips, the legs apart. Releasing your wrists, releasing your knuckles, let palms open up, soften your shoulders, soften your belly. Soften your breath. We're going to come out of this in about three minutes. And I will get us out of here together. Take a moment to enjoy the peace, the relaxation. And let's chill.
slowly add some movement back into your body. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Circle through the wrists, your elbows, your ankles. And start to circle them again, opposite direction. Continue with the eyes closed, let's bend at the knees. Give yourselves a nice cannonball hug again, just letting all the air out, just squeeze all that air out. And it will counter this by releasing your legs forward and releasing your arms up and over the head, lengthening and feel now the arch of the low spine. And gently rolling yourselves into a fetal position to the left or to the right, let the face rest onto your bicep and pause for a moment. With your eyes closed, let's use the palms to lift us up into a comfortable seated position. Let's take a good breath together. As we inhale, draw the arms up and over the head. Placing the palms together. As we exhale, the palms over the heart. And on behalf of the team here at Yoga Valley, we thank you so much for sharing this practice with us. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.